welcome back guys for another beer review uh yeah another beer up now from Lidl's. uh that'd be three on the bounce now that i've done and this is going to be a second one from uh lock lomond uh and this was oh this was this is a can of their brave hop dark which is a black ipa coming in at six percent in a 440 mil can and it was one pound 79 uh Similar artwork to the the Brave Hop. Uh, they released Brave Hop this time, I believe, and oh, I can't think when the last release was. I think they've done it earlier on in the year, anyway. And uh, yeah, the Brave Hop was pretty decent, to be fair. I did quite like that. That was a good old IPA. Uh, I do like a black IPA, and I'm hoping that this one is going to be good. So uh, it's six percent. I think I did say that, didn't I? Probably haven't I? I don't know, I can't remember now anyway. So, uh, yeah, after the last disappointing one, to be honest, the Blood Orange IPA uh, from 71 Brewing Co., I'm hoping this will be good. It seems to be a thing whenever I have a really bad beer or one that I really ain't keen on, I really want to get, get and do another one and have one that I really enjoy. So, uh, let's get it out of the can, get it into the glass, see what we get. So, I'm bloody going on talking rubbish tonight. Ooh. Nicely filled as well, look at that. So I'm hoping this is gonna be a nice one. I think I've only seen one review of it and somebody was a little bit a little bit disappointed, but you know. We're all different on these tastes and what have you, and we all pick up certain things and so I suppose none of us are actually right. There's no right or wrong. We like what we like, but I suppose all us beer ones reviewing beer rope that you know, we appeal to certain people who have maybe the same sort of taste as us. So, uh, lots of floaty bits in here. Well, I'm seeing a few floaty bits. You see there? Yeah, you can see that on the camera. Quite a few floaty bits there. This is, there is shit loads of bit on the bottom. You see that? You see that on the bottom of the glass? It's, <laughs> I did, did give it, Good swill before I poured the last bit in, so I suppose I can expect the sediment. Uh, in a glass, it's hazy. I'm not getting any any bubbles that I can see. Lots of sediment, and it's a real dark sort of chestnut colour. Uh, and we've got a finger of just slightly off white head, quite spacious. Doesn't seem to be going anywhere. It looks like dishwater. Let's see if it smells of dishwater. I'm getting that sort of sort of chocolatey coffee, sort of stouty kind of the, the black side of the IPA. And if I'm getting the IPA, it's extremely subtle, but I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm, I'm getting all sort of the stouty whiff, the stouty black side, but that's not to say it doesn't smell good. So, uh, Let's see if there is any more dregs in there that I can shit that I can get out. <laughs> so now that's done, we'll dive in. So cheers everyone. That's more like it. Oh that's nice that I like that actually, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, now, I think it was Scott from Beer Wonder who I saw review this, if I'm correct. And he said, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Scott, if you do watch this, that it was more sort of along the, the, the stout sort of side. And I wouldn't disagree. I wouldn't disagree with him there. I'll tell you what, let's let's go for all the other shit first. I didn't really give you much on the nose, did I? <laughs> yeah, roasty chocolate coffee on the nose. Well, not so much coffee, is it? 
big sort of chocolate here and there is that sort of it's a, yeah it's still more sort of like the stout side on the nose certainly I'm jumping ahead of myself here I'm getting lost first week back at work proper week forgetting what I'm doing now body's nice on the beer it's got a bit of depth to it a bit of oomph a bit of density if you like mouth feels nice it feels nice before the carbonation kicks in uh, probably doesn't <clears throat> excuse me obviously the beer needs a bit of carbonation but when the carbonation comes in afterwards it sort of doesn't really detract too much but it doesn't make it any better uh, taste wise you are getting that IPA taste that sort of hoppiness taste it's quite sweet I'm getting a a nice chopped sort of taste to it I mean for me uh, it is more to the sort of stout side if you like to the dark side but for my taste buds it's it's a nice balance they, they it, it's it, it's almost that sort of stout where they've just taken that bit off and added a hint of that IPA and it just makes it a little less stouty if that makes any sense but it still has that IPA sort of taste to it it still has that something there that you get in an IPA that you're still getting in this somehow uh, for me I like it I really like this to be honest uh, it's certainly one I'd pick up again. Uh, so there we go. I mean, hopefully I've given them 6%. It's getting there. Give it a 6% bit. For me, that you're not getting the 6% in that. Uh, no, it, it just tastes really drinkable. Extremely drinkable, to be fair. Uh, look at the gunk on the bottom of there. Can you see that? really drinkable and and i'm enjoying that one uh that's that's one of the better better ones that i for me my taste uh one of the better ones i've had from Lidl's to be honest so yeah there you go uh, if you like a black ipa and you can still get hold of this if you can i would recommend it uh especially at one pound 79 i think that does the job uh maybe you depending on what you like you might want a bit more IPA in there but for me I like that and I can live with that and I like it so there you go and if you've had it let me know what you think uh, always good to have a bit of interaction obviously keep it nice and friendly I don't claim to be an expert I just give my views uh, <coughs> German supermarket gas that one uh, yeah so that's it really so uh, subscribe to my channel i'm getting a bit lost here subscribe to my channel all the be no idea on youtube obviously and all the be no idea on facebook if you want notifications uh there should be a little bell somewhere where i believe the name is the channel name and uh where it says you've subscribed or not subscribed uh subscribe and there should be a little bell i think on the side so if you hit that uh you'll get notifications when i re uh, release a video so uh yeah also on Instagram and Twitter under all the being idea one and that is it don't forget I've got playlists and everything on my channel uh, there's lots of new beers coming up and uh, I'll leave you to it so it's, it's a bit of a funny ending really I'm a bit lost really doing these videos at the moment today so thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon cheers <laughs>